Yes. Keanu Reeves. Those are historical babes. Alex Winter. It's a history report, not a babe report. Napoleon. Ziggy Biggy. <laughs> Genghis Khan. <laughs> Sigmund Freud. How's it going, fruit dude? Socrates. And Abraham Lincoln. Party on, dude! If you guys are really us, what number are we thinking of? 69, dudes! <laughs> Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> You are on the air, live and in person, with the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus, featuring Lou Lombardi, aka Ludini, and Kevin O'Connor. What up, everybody? What up? Welcome back, Mr. O'Connor. How are you today? I am fine. We wow, we're like starting out full force today. I know we're hitting it hard, hitting it, hitting it hard. Yeah. This uh, is a band called Power Tool. Yes. Yes. This is the closing credits to uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And this is a song that, I mean, this was like a minor hit for this band, and I never heard anything from them ever again, but it's such a cool song, you know? So, there we are. We've got some great music for you guys uh, today, and um, some a a cool hot topic. The title of today's uh, podcast is, Who the F is Jimi Hendrix? Who? Exactly. And we're going to get to that in a few minutes here. Uh, I'd like to say a couple of... uh, uh, well wishes to some to some people today that are that are uh, going through a few things here, but we'll get to that. You know what I think we ought to do, Kevin? Tell me. I think that we ought to just keep it rocking. Okay. Uh, this is a great band called Firewolf. Ooh, Firewolf. Firewolf. Yes, and they are they are bringing on the melodic metal here. Uh, Firewolf. You can go to firewolf.com. That is F I R E W O L. F-E dot com. Check them out. This is uh, off their upcoming record. This is called Long Road Home on the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Check it. Oh, 
right, that Firewolf. That's what I'm talking about. Great stuff from the band Firewolf. Now, let me give you all their uh, info. Uh, you can go to firewolf.com. You can also go, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. they got Facebook back, uh, backslash Firewolf Band. There you go. And uh, YouTube backslash Firewolf One. So they've got a YouTube channel. Gotta check that out. Yeah, check that out. They have a, um, a, a trailer that they did for their album. Uh, oh, cool. But Firewolf is a really cool band. Uh, Nick Layton uh, doing all the guitar work there. And uh, David Fiefolt, uh, great, great vocals. How about that? Now, uh, hold on now. Yes. Mr. Feefold is from this area. Is you know, D- David, your dad uh, drove this, my school bus. <laughs> I knew it. He was, yeah, I think he's. I think that. I think that he's in Phoenix or, That's where or I've Las heard the Vegas. The name of this band before. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Jay awesome. Jay Shellen is the drummer in this band, and Jay's uh, worked with people like. Um, uh, Rudy Sarzo, uh, and he's in, on tour right now. Is the touring drummer in the band Asia? No way. The Asia, yes. All right. Yeah. So uh, a lot of cool yes. lineup there. And if you go to their website, uh, Firewolf.com, uh, you can get their CD. There's all the links and all the information you need to know about everything that's going on with Firewolf. Fantastic. So great band. We're really happy Fantastic. to have them here. Uh, you know, our uh, one of the legends of rock. Here, Mr. BB King. There he is. This is a great version with Ch- Tracy Chapman. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. But uh, they did a great video for it. You guys can find it on YouTube. But um, just want to wish BB well, you know. We know he's best. suffering right now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he's got the blues right now. But, he does uh, have the blues. But So just want to send a shout-out to our brother, B.B., and just, uh, well, I think know. it's nice, too. I've seen some of the press releases uh, from his family, and he is aware that his fans are pulling for him. So that's good. You know, sometimes you hear about artists, and they just kind of go into obscurity, and yeah. they don't realize the love. But uh, B.B. knows that we're all pulling well, for Well, you know, so. him and Buddy Guy have had, like, a lot of support in the last few years, especially from Eric Clapton, mm-hmm. you know, with, uh, you know, everything Eric has done to kind of, like, just kind of keep those guys out there and let exactly. people know who they are. Right. So, um, you know, and, and you know that guys like John Mayer are keeping that alive, oh, too, yeah. so very cool. So, B.B., we, lots, lots of love. Lots of love, Lots B. of love to yes. B.B. Hey, do you remember, um, Kevin, let me ask you if you remember this song sure. right here. Okay. okay. If I can find it. I've got too many. This is what happens when I. You've got so I, much You know what stuff I need? I need a. Standing I need a, by. I need a producer. I need a freaking producer. My kingdom for a producer. First, one, I need a kingdom. One name: Candy, I need... Bambi, or Wendy. <laughs> we don't care. Exactly. <laughs> Do you remember this one, Kevin? Right, hold on. I have to turn beep speedy again. I got to turn you down, brother. Remember this one? Learn to trust, yeah. not run away. It was no time to play. That voice. We build it up, and build it up, and build it up, and now it's solid. Solid as a rock. Happy birthday, Nick Ashford of Ashford and oh, Simpson. Ashford and Simpson, that's yeah. right. Uh, they've, uh, you know, I, I, I should be, uh, I don't have it in front of me, but uh, that, that is a was a hot songwriting uh, duo for a lot of uh, R and B artists, yeah. and um, so, but they, they did their own record. Well, they've done several, but they, they had a big hit with their yeah, own so song here, that one. and it was a big hit in the '80s. So, happy birthday to happy Nick, birthday. Nick Ashford. I'd like to thank uh, Positively Pittsburgh Live and Click Vodka for their support. Grazie, grazie. grazie. We love you so much. Oui, oui, oui. We get a lot of um, retweeting and stuff from the Positively Pittsburgh people. So, thank you, thank you, thank guys. You, thank you very much. You can find us on the uh, on Twitter at LL Strange Love. Um, if you would like to submit your music to be uh, featured on the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus, our, as well as our blog and our YouTube channel, please go to freepromo.ludinirockandrollcircus.com. Wait a minute, how much does it cost? It's <laughs> <laughs> a hundred million dollars. It's not a hundred million dollars. Oh, so all we need is one person to sign up, and then we will never have to work again. Be, we'll be set. Lap of luxury. When the lap of luxury, baby, I'm trying to, it's going to make it hot. It is free promo. Yes, exactly. Free, they they both free. The they promo free. and the free is free. They both of them. They're both of them. Both free. Both free. They both free. Nice. So so go to free promo. <laughs> dot Ludini Rock and Roll Circus dot com to check that out. If you would like to keep up with the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus, check out back episodes. 
see everything that's going on, go to podcast.ludini rock and roll circus. And uh, all the uh, goodies are there, all the info and all the bands, all their links, so you can see everything that's going on. Now, yes. uh, we our topic today is going to be about, we're going to talk about Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I thought it was Christina Hendricks. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but I mean, you know, I mean, really, does anybody? I mean, just think about this. We're gonna play another song. We're gonna we're gonna feature another artist here in a second. But while we're while you're thinking about that, let's think about Jimmy Hendrix. Let's talk about Jimmy Hendrix. Let's think about Jimmy Hendrix. We're gonna have right. we're gonna talk about Jimmy. And you know, it's, what's it been like forty years yeah. since his death, something like that. Yes, yes. So, a guy's been gone for forty years. Right. Are pe- pe- people are still interested? Definitely. I mean, they just made a feature film um, about his life in 2013. Um, we're going to talk about that in a minute, too. Okay. But people are still interested. So it, it's very, really interesting. I think there's something we can learn from that. Um, these guys, uh, we've played on one of our first podcasts ever. Uh, th- this is a band called We Came From Space. Ah, there we and go. And Dave, thank you so much for sending me these uh, uh, some more songs. I appreciate it. And Dave, thank you for selling me that guitar. I love it. I love it, Dave. Exactly what Kevin needed was uh, another, another guitar. Another guitar. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you can go. You can find these guys facebook.com backslash We Came From Space. We came from space. <laughs> and I think that they have a regular website too. I apologize, Dave. For some reason, I'm not seeing that. But Facebook is the catch-all, so you can go there and you can find out everything else you need to find out about them. Yeah. But um, I mean, this is another song. Like I said, we don't. We can't always play too many repeats because we've got so many bands to get to. But, Dave, thanks for reaching out and uh, selling Kevin that great guitar. This is We Came From Space. Uh, wa- I can't read. Waterline change <laughs> slash change within on the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. Kick it. Born into the sea. Dependent on the changing tide Once captive now you're free Sent drifting toward the other side You are the storm Without the stars that guide Remaining torn I'm here to meet Every side There is no mystery The current shift but never lie Throughout your history The changes leave you asking why You stay the course To a portrait
All right. Yeah, we came about, we, from space. Exactly. Waterline and Change Within. Uh, I love the, how they sort of put the two songs together. You know, you, bands don't, don't do that that much well, you anymore. Don't, you don't hear that very no, much anymore. No, no. Very you know. cool, guys. Very and, cool. And, I mean, I, you know, like they bring some older influences in. Like there mm-hmm. were times I'm like, okay, like I hear a little Kansas. Right. Hear Yes. Yes. Um, but it's like new because like it's like it, they, there's something about the, um, the the lead vocals and stuff that have a very sort of very uh, fresh kind yeah of, kind of a fresh right, sound right, yeah right. it's really neat there's nothing sort of pretentious sounding about it right. uh, yeah it's so good I hope you guys keep putting out a lot of records yes. and please let us know when you're playing that's the only thing about you guys I don't know is when you're gigging I'd love to come hear you guys yeah, yeah, yeah definitely um, Greg Alexander from this band. Remember this band? I do remember the band. New Radicals. Yep. Uh, Greg, yes, uh, happy birthday to Greg Alexander. Happy birthday to you. It's a fun song. Yeah, yeah. It's a good message. Cool song. Like, very positive, very up. I like it. I don't know. It might be a good theme song. We're, Kevin and I are talking about we should have a theme song. You know, yeah. we, and uh, so we didn't I know might, if we should make one ourselves or use an existing one. Well, what I think we ought to do is is um, if we do use an existing one, we should record, re-record it and do our own version of it. Yeah. But at least that the song we played at the beginning, two heads are better than one. We kind of like thought well, yeah, that might be kind uh, of a fun yeah, theme there's, song. We, there's two of us. We each have a head. There's two heads, and they are better well than one. I know exactly. <laughs> what about this? You like this stuff? Did I, you? I, yes. Now this is some serious heads. bass guitar playing here. Now why am I playing the Jackson Five? Uh, I don't know. It's Jackie Jackson's birthday. Shut up. Yep, of the Jackson Five. One of the Jackson wow. brothers. He's, I believe he's the oldest Jackson. Uh, right. um, so happy birthday to Jack, Jackie Jackson and uh, Greg Alexander. Um, so we're not going to get to everybody today, but I do want to sh- throw a shout out. It's Randy Travis's birthday, the, ah. uh, the country uh, singer. Yes. And if we get a chance, maybe we'll throw it maybe, maybe after the next break. Um, we'll, we'll maybe give you guys samples of a couple other people, but... So Jimi Hendrix, what? Right. You know he's. St- <laughs> Jim, you know, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Elvis, mm-hmm. and a couple of these guys actually make more money now that they're dead. <laughs> yes. He's and Hendrix is well, actually Hendrix. And it like two years ago surpassed Elvis. Wow. In in the in the money that uh, the wow. the estate makes How about after that? he's passed away. So I mean, people are still. Interested, very interested. Obviously, um, there's a in 2013. There's a film uh, made called Jimmy All by uh, All is by My Side, uh, starring Andre Benjamin. I don't know if you know who Andre Benjamin is. Uh, he's also known as Andre 3000 ah, from Outcast. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know, he, Andre's was 40, and Jimmy was 27. But like, <laughs> he did a great job. It's, did he? Yeah. He does. He does a great job. That's one of the best things about the movie. There's some weird stuff about the movie. Like, first of all. The Jimi Hendrix estate would not only give them permission to yeah. use any original Jimi Hendrix music. Yeah. Um, but there is some cool 60s, like original 60s music in. Okay. In the, so All it right. does have that. Yeah. Um, they put you get to see some very interesting stuff. Um, some behind the scenes uh, things. Um, well, there's a famous story that maybe some of you know, some of you don't. That Jimmy showed up at a Cream gig with his manager, um, mm-hmm. Chaz uh, Bono. No. <laughs> He's uh oh. maybe not. Chaz Chandler from uh <laughs> fr- from the uh from the animals, the bass player from the animals yeah. was, was Jimi Hendrix's manager. Uh, the guy, by the way, they got to play the Chaz looked like the written Chaz. It's, it's mm. weird. Um, but he showed they showed up at a cream gig and and, and Jimmy was like told Chaz to call in a favor and let let, let oh, tell wow. Clapton to let him sit in. Oh wow! And he did. <laughs> and um and you know Jimmy, what, what one of the things I think that was really important and I think what. I, I I think a lot of young artists aren't doing, and I think that they could do, and I think would help, mm-hmm. is, you know, he gets up on stage and he's like, you know, let's do Killing Floor. And they're all looking at him like, well, he knew Killing Floor because he played, we, when he came back from the army, right. you know, he went out and just started playing. playing. Right. You know, so he knew all, he knew the catalog of like the great, you know, mm-hmm. traditional music. And um, it's, uh, I think that it's important to kind of, you know, take a little, take some time and get that foundation. Mm-hmm. 
You know, I don't think that you need to, uh, um, you know, be a be a cover artist your whole life. But and speaking of covers, the other thing I think that's important that, that we can learn from Jimmy is, um, whenever he did do cut, why am I playing Ghostbusters? I'm sorry. Well, because see, I'll just give you guys a quick. We're a little late on a podcast. We were supposed to do it on Friday. On Friday, it was Ray Parker's birthday. Ah, so right. so that's why we got a little Ghostbusters, just to clear that up. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> But because I always try to give because like we love music so much and we would be like nowhere without this great music. So exactly. I'm excited about all of it. But, um, you know, so and one of the things that, that, that Jimmy did that was very cool was he did great reinterpretations of other people's mm-hmm, songs. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, oh, his yeah. version of Wild Thing uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. is, is, is iconic. And yeah. um, uh, but, you know, obviously the song that everybody knows is his version of uh, All Along the Watchtower, well, right, right. which a lot of people have done. It's a Bob Dylan song. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's a Bob Dylan song that he, that Dylan, no, I don't think anybody knows Dylan's version. I don't think I've ever heard it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But everybody knows Hendrix's. Hendrix's version. So yeah, he, has, yeah. so he was really able to kind of bring his own whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has his, his sound, his guitar playing, his voice, everything. He was able to just bring that. To another to 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 a cover song, and now nobody even cares that who, right. about the original. Everybody wants exactly. to hear. Everybody wants to hear the Jimmy. H- when you play, when you when you get up on a at a jam night to play it, you've got <laughs> you to play the Jimmy play Hendrix. The Jimi Hendrix, exactly. Yeah, I mean, because nobody knows anything else, you know. So, um, I think that that's really important. But <clears throat> because he learned from Dylan and uh, and he liked all his great music, mm-hmm. he did, he absorbed that into his own songwriting. So a song like Hey Joe. Right. It's almost like a Dylan song with like really cool guitar riffs. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So I think there's a lot that you guys can... Plus, I think one of the appeals to Jimmy... Whether people um, know that they're influenced by Jimi Hendrix or not, I think that they are. Oh, sure. I think if you look at a lot of bands and you look at Hendrix, just the look, mm-hmm. there's a, you see a thread. I do. You know, um, with the sort of with the sort of real emphasis on style. I mean, he had everything. Right. You know, he had he had the total like. Not only was he a good looking man, but he had the to- the the total thing with all the clothes, and he had the whole thing. The attitude, the whole attitude. The attitude. The he could attitude. he could he could write songs. Mm-hmm. He could front a band. Right. I mean, what guitar? You know, any anytime you guys go to a gig and you see a guitar player put a guitar behind his back or play with his teeth or something like that. Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix. Exactly. Nobody did. <coughs> now, if Chuck Berry was here, he'd punch both of us in the mouth because <laughs> he says he did that first. Um, you know, and and but but who knows? But the, really, it, it, that, that all comes from Jimmy. And like even people that don't, I mean, even people that aren't guitar players, mm-hmm. you know, cite Jimi Hendrix as an as an important oh, yeah. person in music. Miles Davis loved Jimi Hendrix. A lot of people love Jimi Hendrix. And you you know, there's a lot of young kids. With Hendrix T-shirts on and pictures of Hendrix, you know, oh, and yeah. you know, and they don't even may not even realize what the music was about. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so he's still kind of a part. He became like a part of the culture, and I, I think we could agree that if aliens landed and they said, "What what is rock and roll?" I think all you have to do is point to a picture of Jimi Hendrix. This is and rock they, and yeah, roll. Yeah, this is rock and roll. You know, so he's got the singer. Songwriter, the front person, the right. look, the style, the sex right. appeal, and he was a virtuoso on his instrument. Yes. And I think that there's something to, to still be said. There's a mystique about somebody who can really tear something up, mm-hmm. especially in a unique way. So, guys, I think that the kind of lesson is to like, yeah, get good at what you do, learn from other people, don't be afraid to reinterpret what's already out there and make it your own. Correct. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, you know, he sort of had a sort of devil may care attitude about mm-hmm. what he did. He wanted to be himself. Right. That was ultimately what it was, and he sold that. So that's just some stuff to think about about the great right. Jimi Hendrix. If right. you guys get a chance, check out um, the film. It's not the greatest film ever. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold, and I got a froggy. I get a little froggy. Ribbit. Jimmy all by my side. Um, and there's some great inter, uh, articles on the internet yeah, about it. So ch- out. check it all out if you guys yeah. want to. I'm going to uh, get something to drink while I play the next <laughs> artist because I'm like... You're dying over I'm there. I'm dying. This is a band I saw out in Philly, the Brazilian Johnsons. We'll Ooh. come back and talk about them. Uh, this is a song called SOS, the Brazilian Johnsons. <laughs> Down the rock, I freaking scared and then I laugh. When it was 
Is this why I came here? Was I bound to keep wondering about what could have been? Sometimes the mind is an armor too heavy for battle. Bring me the tunnel vision, cloak I wore in my younger days. What good is complaining? You just keep thinking and talking and then you do nothing. This place is too familiar, I need you break out of it. Show me that all this time the key has been in my own pocket. Where is a woman who will save my soul? Johnson's outstanding, yeah, great stuff. Um, from the uh, Boston, Boston area, but yes. here's something you don't know about the Brazilian Johnsons. Yes, they are actually from Brazil. Are they really? Yeah, I met these guys. Uh, it uh, Dobbs, the legendary Dobbs, uh, Philadelphia, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we did a show out there with Super Monkey, and it was uh, really cool. so many great bands. But these guys were very cool, and I got to talk to their uh, singer Michelle for a while. Cool, and. Uh, they, uh, well, they're Berkeley College of Music guys. Okay, that's what they, did. That's what they did. went to cool. school, and they just decided to just say we're going to just stay here in the states, and, and, and we're going to yeah, and uh, because he's like he's like look, he's we're playing New York, we're playing Boston, we're playing Philly, we're playing DC, awesome. so they're playing that whole circuit. So if you get a chance to go see them, uh, and they're playing somewhere in the East Coast near you, you should check them out. Uh, great musicianship. How about those background vocals? Awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Um, they they have some ballads and stuff that are just just like they like you know it's like lighters in the air right, like right, you know right. just real they have some really great stuff. Uh, you can find them at the Brazilian Johnsons with an S dot com. So give those guys a now, tr- a try. Now here's the thing. Now you what is the thing? Give me the, what is the thing, Lou, Kevin? Lou, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lou, the point of the program Lou. where Kevin says. It's this, Kevin's thing. It's Kevin's thing. Here's my, hey, here's the thing, Lou. Uh, you pin. handed me this CD during the song, and I assume that you, you got this at the show. I got that at the show. Now, look at this CD. Look at how nice it is. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's well presented. The band's there on the cover. You got everything. But this goes back to what we were talking about in previous podcasts. Have quality stuff. Have quality merchandise at your show. And guess what happens? You get played on the Ludini Rock and Roll yeah, Circus. Absolutely. You, um, but this is a really nice CD, you know, the nice cover and everything else. Great songs. These guys are doing it right. So Doing it right. The and Brazilian Johnsons, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, guys. Uh, the name of the record is Howdy Doody. Ha ha! Spelled D-U-T-Y. It's better, yes. It's better Not the other way. Doody, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so so very cool stuff there. Um, you're listening to, I don't know, are you all familiar with this lady here? This, who's Sharon Jones? I never met her before. But, I don't know uh, who she is. Sharon Jones is uh, uh, Sharon Jones. The, the kid Dap is King. not my son. Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. <laughs> Happy birthday to Sharon Jones Happy as well. Birthday. I wanted to like make sure we gave her a quick shout out. Um, so <coughs> I was talking to you guys about that Hendrix film. So what? Yeah. what like, there's a lot of great rock uh, movies out, mm-hmm. films mm-hmm. that have been out over the years that aren't really concerts, but they're still right. good rock films. Right. Like, what are some of your favorites? Uh, some of my favorites: uh, Streets of Fire. Do you remember Streets of Fire? Yeah. Awesome. Really? I've uh, never seen it. I remember when it came out. Are you serious? No, nope, nope, I'm on the Streets uh, of Fire version. Jim, Jim Steinman did all the music. Jim Steinman, of course, Meatloaf. Ah. He did all the Meatloaf stuff. Uh, Diane Lane. You can't go wrong with Diane Lane. Duh. You know, so, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Sweet. Yes, yes. Uh, a lot of the movies... Uh, I can't really classify it. There's some rockabilly in there. There's some uh, kind of poppy stuff, but uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably one of my favorite musical type Movies, okay. Rock and roll movies. Um, Lou, what's your favorite? I don't know if I have a favorite, but I, oh. some of my favorites um, are Almost Famous. Oh, yeah. Love that. Sure. Um, uh, this is Spinal Tap. Of course. 
you know, I mean, I don't think that we can go wrong with this is Spinal Tap. Of course. Um, <clears throat> there's a, uh, I found an article on the, on the, on that there, right? Did you ever heard that thing called that there, uh, uh yeah. internet? Now, some of these I have not it's seen. Now, I, now, yeah. now I, like, I saw Hard Day's Night, yeah. and I know it's cool, but I wouldn't list it as one of my personal favorites, no. but it's cool. I get yeah, it. You know, yeah. I mean, I, not it's the Beatles. What can you, what can you say, sure, you know? Sure, sure. But, like, some, we were talking on, uh, before we started, like, some of the ones that you forget about are, like, um, well, Grease is, 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 is a rock sure, film, you know. Sure, Do uh, American Graffiti. Oh, yeah. And music's really important in that it's movie. It's very yeah. important. Um, Probably one of the first movies to use to use music as a backdrop like that. It, it became almost a character in the film. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yellow Submarine. Oh my! That's that. You know, that's uh, you know, kind of an obscure one. Right. But if you guys, if you haven't seen that, but some of the other ones that they have listed here, like Sid and Nancy. Oh my gosh! I've seen, seen that in decades. Yeah, I saw, I've rented that on videotape. That's a, that's a, that's an Oldman, uh, Gary Oldman, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jailhouse Rock, sure. Quadrophenia, okay. Tommy, Tommy, of course, um, The Wall. Oh yes, you know. So, uh, <laughs> you know, so there's a, there's a lot of you know good, the commitments. You remember the commitments? Yes, that was a cool film. Uh, but so so there's a lot of great films that there's. Here's one I'd like to mention that it was kind of controversial. It's a movie about Bob Dylan called I'm Not There. Did you see that? I don't think I have. <clears throat> um, it's. Uh, Different actors play Bob Dylan. Oh, yes. I've never seen it. I've heard of it. And uh, you know, and one of the actors that plays Bob Dylan is Kate Blanchett. Right. And she makes a great Bob Dylan. Really? It's, yeah, it's very cool. So, um, but yeah, we were, we were, the reason we're bringing this up is because early in the podcast we were talking about um, Jimi Hendrix and the film that came out. Uh, and uh, so it just kind of got me thinking about, you know, different rock and roll, different rock and roll films. Yeah. And you know how important it is. It, you know, and like you said, so oh, often it becomes oh, a character in the here, film. Here's one. Let me see if you've ever seen this, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous stains. Have you ever seen that film? You told me about it, it. Yeah, it's a cult. It's a cult film. Again, Diane Lane. How can you go on Diane yeah. Lane? I um, just think you like Diane Lane. Oh uh, no. Uh, oh no, yeah. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> hey, we'd like to thank all the bands that participated. Thanks for playing. Tell them what they've won, Bob. Uh, Stuff. They want all kind of cool <laughs> stuff. They got to be promoted. Uh, to be promoted. The Brazilian Johnsons. The Brazilian Johnsons. Yes. Com. Uh, Firewolf. Yes. F i r e w o l f e. dot com. Please check those guys out. Support right. those guys. Right. Oh, we had so many good ones tonight. We had. We came from, from space. space. <laughs> it's in our contract. We have to we say, have to it, say it like that. Yeah. 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 So go to Facebook uh, backslash. We came from space, and. Um, we're gonna wrap up with this this band right here. This is a band called Phantasm. Oh. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But before we play Phantasm, let's get a little business out of the way. Right. Um, free promo dot Ludini Rock and Roll Circus to get your music played on the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. To groove to the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus, yes. go to podcast dot Ludini Rock and Roll Circus dot com. Follow us on Twitter, LL Strange Love. Follow, find us, uh, just Lou Lombardi on Facebook, um, and just get in touch. And uh, one of the things you guys can do, if, if you have been featured on this podcast or another one, so that's this is to all you guys out there, Chris from Super Monkey, Garrison Bailey, all you guys out there that are looking to promote your music, promote the podcast. Yeah. Tell your friends all about it. Yeah, hey, it's on this re- podcast. Re- yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I got a message. Uh, one of the, ban- the one of the early bands we played here was uh, called the Colonizers, and uh, they, uh, you know, he, they 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 were, they were commenting on some of our uh, on our of our on some of our posts this week. So stuff like that awesome. boosts everything up. And as the other bands fans get to hear, uh, let's come to tune in to hear their you know right. bands that they want to hear. They hear your they music hear, too. Yeah. So spread the love, pay it forward. Right, right. right. Okay, free promo. Ludini Rock and Roll Circus and podcast dot ludini rock and roll circus dot com. Thanks you to Positively Pittsburgh Live. Thank you. And Click Vodka. Thank you. Uh, this last band we're going to play is uh, brand new. I mean, they're just in fact they're brand so new. Brand spanking new. <coughs> How new are they? They're so new, Kevin, that yeah. they don't even have a website. Wow. A Facebook page. <coughs> nothing. <coughs> I know. I know. They're exactly. Like babies. They're coming right out of the womb as we play this right now. They're being birthed. <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness. And um, actually, they've they've actually played some gigs. Uh, just a quick story. Um, you can uh, um, this the singer and guitarist for this band was an old guitar teacher of mine, oh. and uh, we found each other on social media. And he's like, I'm putting out this record. I just recorded it. And so he sent me some stuff. His name's Rick Vrana. Now, let me uh, just spell it for you, because you can go to Facebook.com, search Rick Vrana. That's R-I-C-K-V-R-A-N-A. Oh, okay. And just friend Rick, and he's got all the stuff about his band Phantasm. Now, Phantasm, by the way, is, is spelled F-A-N, uh-huh. not like the film. Right. F-A-N-T-A-S-M. Okay. So, very cool um, band, uh... Oh, and we're gonna go ahead. Oh, oh, may, may, you always you gotta every, plug something. Every every podcast you ask me if I'm doing <coughs> anything. Every podcast I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not doing anything. Uh, this weekend, this coming weekend, uh, the 9th of May, Hemlock House, my band, is playing Moss Creek Bar and Grill up in North Cambria County. And uh, folks, if you want to see my band or uh, experience my band, I do have a website. It's a uh, hemlockband.com. And we're also on Facebook. Just uh, type in uh, Hemlock House up in the search engine there. It'll take you right to our Facebook page. So and there, I finally have something to plug. You know what? I have something to plug, too. Um, oh, okay. On May 23rd, we just booked this uh, Supervana. Uh, ah, my, yes, uh, yes. Uh, a Nirvana tribute act is going to be playing down at the Rex, and we'll give you more details Very good. on tickets and everything. So just if you follow me on Facebook, you'll get all the information on that or on Twitter. Um, okay, so um, we're going to close out with uh, anything else, Kevin? That's it. Th- guys, thanks so much for rocking out with us. Uh, the last band here is Phantasm. Thank you, Firewolf. Thank you, We Came From Space. Thank you, the Brazilian Johnsons. Um, we're going to close out with uh, Phantasm. This is uh, off their upcoming record. This is called Dangerous Kiss. On the Lugini Rock and Roll Circus. We'll see you.